If NVIDIA is so great, why do you guys have to lie about AMD drivers just to make you feel better about your NVIDIA graphics card purchases? Well, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to talk about this whole driver nonsense issues and all of that stuff when it comes to AMD. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now I just got done reading a bunch of my comments in the comment section, and this is a reoccurring theme when it comes to AMD GPUs versus NVIDIA GPUs. There always seems to be those people out there that have never even bought an AMD GPU, yet continue to say things like there's driver issues or there's driver instability, or something just isn't working right when it comes to AMD or they got buggy drivers. Just just so much nonsense coming out of people that, that don't even use these GPUs. So I've, I've had AMD for about six months now. Um, before that I had NVIDIA, I was rocking the 3080 10 gig. Before that I had a 3060 Ti. Before that I had a 3050 Ti laptop. And then I also had the uh, the, the NVIDIA MX350, it was another laptop. So I've had plenty of NVIDIA cards. I now have that 4070 as well that I that I compare to the AMD 7800 XT versus that 4070. And I can tell you right now that I'm not experiencing any of these so-called driver issues or driver instability or any of that stuff that people are going on and on and on about when it comes to the AMD side. Now, my B, my PC has a 5900X. Right now, the 7900XT is in there. I also have the 7800XT. And it doesn't matter which one of these AMD GPUs that I have in there, whether I'm using the, um, uh, whether I'm using the official AMD drivers for the Adrenaline software, or I'm, use, or I'm utilizing the uh, AMD's Fluid Motion Frames preview beta, I am not having any issues, nor have I had any driver issues with the AMD cards since I've had them. None of that stuff. I've been through multiple upgrades to the drivers too. We've had a whole bunch of game drivers that have come out. The only one thing that's come out that has given anybody any problems with the AMD driver since I've been on AMD was the whole anti-lag plus thing with CSGO 2 and other online titles kicking off the, uh, the anti-cheat things or whatever. That's the only thing that I've heard of. And, and I haven't experienced this, but I've heard of those drivers actually affecting that gameplay. So... Uh, well, not affecting the gameplay, actually getting people banned from from playing those games because they're um, because the anti lag plus or something was was setting off that that uh, the anti cheat thing. Those dis those drivers were disabled and they are being worked on being a fix. But let's let's be completely clear about this. Like let's be let's be one hundred percent honest. The only reason why people are out there spreading this stuff about AMD is because A, they, they, they're they sick of being ripped off from NVIDIA, but it helps them sleep at night to think that, oh man, the AMD drivers are just bad, or they're buggy, or they don't work. That's not true. That's not true at all. At least in my experience, that isn't true. And it... <laughs> I'm not, I do, dude, I've got maybe two and a half years that I've actually had a PC and actually been able to use PC and play video games. If I can figure out how to get my system up and running to where I'm not experiencing these bugs and these issues compared to all these other people that have got so-called years and decades of experience with PCs and they can't seem to get their AMD cards up and running, man maybe there's an issue with them maybe maybe it's a them issue and not an amd issue so uh just as many people come to the comment section and say that amd is buggy and broken we also have the people that come to the to the channel and and in the comment section that are a using amd and they are all reporting that they are not having issues with amd gpus either so if and and here's the thing man I can only go from my own experience, and from my experience, I don't think that's true. I, I do not think that AMD has bad drivers. I don't think that AMD has um, issues or bugs or anything like that. And if they do, just like with all software and just like with all hardware, 
there usually comes a fix that fixes that and makes it better. To be completely honest with you, my experience with AMD has been significantly better than it was with the with the Nvidia GPUs. With the 30 with the 30 series Nvidia GPUs, I don't have um, the the TV issues. I don't have my my TV flickering all the time when I'm when I'm using my AMD GPUs. I, it, it runs just fine with my HDMI 2.1. I get my 120 FPS, I get full utilization of like HDR and all of that stuff. I've had a much smoother experience on the 3000 series GPUs. Uh, the, one thing, the one thing with the 40 series, I can't even get my 4K TV to work with it unless I, unless I drop it into 60 frames per second. Um, I, I can't seem to get it to work with 120 FPS. It won't even register on my screen. So yeah, maybe that maybe there's like a, something broken with the HDMI port or something like that. But who knows? Who freaking knows, man? I, I've, I've given it enough time to sit there and play with it. I, I just, you know, put back in my AMD cards. I, I can only get like a few days out of the NVIDIA GPU before I'm like, yeah, man, I just want to go back to the AMD experience. So you guys need to decide. I mean... Well, well, not decide. If you don't have an AMD GPU and you don't use one, quit parroting stuff that you read on the internet. Quit listening to what everybody else is saying and then running with that. Unless you're going to go out there and put your money out there and actually test it in a real your environment and see how it runs in your system, maybe you shouldn't even talk about it because you don't know what you're talking about. You clearly do not have any kind of real world experience with AMD, so stop. You're, you're not helping anybody. You're not doing anything for anybody. All you are doing is poisoning the well and spreading misinformation out there about something that you know absolutely nothing about. Now, if you go and you look at like the other content creators, the other tech tubers, whatever, stop parroting what they say. You have to take into consideration that these guys clearly get free GPUs from NVIDIA. Stop it. Stop saying what they say because if, if as, as a content creator myself, um, I, I try to be fair. I try to be honest in the products that I review and, and everything like that. And to be completely honest with you, I don't see a big enough difference between NVIDIA and AMD to sit there and tell you to go spend more money on features that you can, that, that, that are only good in a few games. Like to be completely honest with you, there's only there there are very few games that the ray tracing and path tracing and all of that stuff actually make the the uh, the Nvidia GPUs like worth having. There, there's very few of them. Everything else is is pretty much always you know leaning toward the AMD side of things for better performance, better visual quality, better colors. Everything seems to be a lot more leaned toward AMD being a better investment overall for you than buying any NVIDIA GPU unless you absolutely need those extra features for work. I can't recommend NVIDIA over AMD. Like that just doesn't make any sense to me. None at all. If you're if you're if you're in this for video gaming and you want the absolute best freaking bang for your buck, I can't recommend NVIDIA over AMD. That just does not make any sense to me. Nothing. There are not enough games out there that truly fully support the NVIDIA, you know, RT and, and path tracing and all of that stuff to recommend that over any freaking AMD experience. Like, there's just not enough of them. And most of them are already old now. And very seldom do new games come out that are fully featured with, with NVIDIA tech. We've had more AMD sponsored games come out than NVIDIA ones that, that actually, you know, work pretty dang good on the AMD GPUs. When you look, when you, when you factor in things like DLSS and FSR3, man, like the difference is not as big as anybody would think in, in both games. I mean, both manufacturers have games that, that um, obviously DLSS looks good on some of them and then it doesn't look good on it, it doesn't look good on every one of them and the same goes for FSR. If you're into using upscalers, it, it's like 50/50 in my experience. To be completely honest with you, some games look great on DLSS, some games look like not that great, and the same goes for FSR. So, when you start factoring in all of these these tools and, you know, frame generation and all of that stuff, 
if 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 frame generation is your thing, AMD's got you covered. You download that AMD's Fluid Motion Frames beta, and you get it on all DX11 and DX12 games. That that's not the case with with uh, with DLSS and and their frame generation. You get a select number of titles that you can actually utilize that in out of the gate when you get an NVIDIA GPU. So I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. I I, I hear these comments all the time, and I read this stuff, and it just makes me. And, and it just, it, it doesn't make me mad. It's more annoying. It's more annoying that I have to continuously read this stuff and be like, man, what are these guys talking about, dude? Where are these supposed driver issues that are always creeping up that, that these guys seem to have firsthand knowledge of, but none of them have an AMD GPU? All the people that have AMD GPUs, they come and they say the exact same thing I'm saying. They are not having problems with their card. And if anything, their card is significantly better than they ever expected it to be because of all the nonsense out there about AMD being bad and having bad drivers and all of that. So when you buy one and you're blown away that it's like, wow, this is actually really, really good. I don't know, man. I don't know. Stop spreading the nonsense about AMD. Okay, you, there's more than enough channels out there that hold in, in NVIDIA on a pedestal. There's no reason for you guys to continuously bash AMD for, for for nothing, man. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. So, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.